Hi guys, welcome to this vlog. We are on Saturday. I don't know why I'm doing a vlog on Saturday, but yeah. So I want to show you something, okay? Okay. Hi. Buku jakaribu. Do you see what it is? from church uh, the, the message of today was hope so they were the preacher was a woman again uh, she was teaching ab us about was there yeah how he was asked by God to go and marry a, some a prostitute and he did if it were me I would like be there beginning so he was saying Hosea was so humble um, yeah so i wanted to talk about how um it has been for me in youtube so yesterday i posted the vlog about baking not baking per se it was um the vlog that is going to go up on monday because i post on monday uh, and my phone broke while i was making content it broke the screen and it is the phone that I used to do examinations and all those things and I felt so bad I just feel like giving up on YouTube um, doing everything I have the vlog that I have I've posted which is going to like premiere tomorrow on Monday uh, I had deleted it and this is not the first time I had deleted a vlog mistakenly and I feel so bad uh, I retrieve it using snapchat because snapchat like I shoot using snapchat so like snapchat saves things yeah but I feel I was like even today when I was praying I was telling God to just boost my YouTube I just feel so bad I feel like I'm not making it yeah Lunchtime, and we are from Ampla. I'm from lunch, Nimekula. So, I wanted to tell you guys um, about today. So, today we have a presentation right after this, and uh, with Miss Group, after I see Kwandika not so hope I touch a because as we are group five, I also wanted to tell you uh, the whole class like around five people have flu, then like Nimezo Kuskias with Rotapa. <laughs> yeah so i also wanted to like uh i wanna wear a ring and earrings i forgot to wear them i also forgot to carry water so today was a forgetting day so i don't know why i have so that i was exposed to a patient who had tuberculosis and every time like i have a so throat over here or or I wake up feeling sick, 
I just feel like I'm almost like maybe I have tuberculosis. But it, it has but it's three weeks since I I was in contact with them and I have no flu like symptoms. But someone by the name of Evans has flu like symptoms. I'm Fungana Mapua like it may come like more than two weeks. So I'm like Yeah. So let me show you the rings I'm gonna wear. So I had um let me see if you can see. I had bought these rings. Let me just remove them. They are these rings. Like you see the design. These ones. Yeah. So I wanna wear them. They are floral designs. And they were for for me to sell, but I never got clients. So zita zita zia kanyamba. I also bought. Um, bracelets and these are anklets but yeah so I wanna wear that to class to the evening class which to na funzo na hecho diso crazy me um yeah I also wanna accessorize with this earring and the and the stoppers over there the reason why they are on water it's because nilikuwa ni me spirit I love to change color I'm like woof yeah, so I want to wear those. Yeah. So guys, Boo has done a little shopping. Actually, a lot of shopping because it was 1,000. And these are the contents. Um, Mkate, because he, his friend likes Mkate. Crips for woman. Okay, the bread is mine. Biryani. He has bought a lot of biryanis. This is sugar. Um, another biryani. Uh, this um nala. He likes noodles a lot. Even if I told him that noodles cause cancer. Um, tissue, we were out of tissue. Um, saucy. He, I've never even eaten saucy, but he has bought it for himself. The tissue. Um, another biryani. So those are like three kgs of biryani. Yeah. So those. And the total came to... 715 plus 80, 90, 800, 705. Hi guys, hope you're well. So today is do my day and we're going to school. Uh, our teacher had requested a makeup class. So we are going to school for that. Yeah, so that's how basically I'm spending my do my day. But it's okay. Because by the end of the semester, we will have free lessons and I'll stay at home because nobody nobody's gonna bother me about waking up early also I'm doing this so that you may see my ring so this is my ring and I have earrings the cute love earrings I'm in that era yeah <laughs>
Hi guys, so today is on Wednesday. I think today we have four classes, five classes. Uh, it's currently 6.55. We were told we have a, seven, a class at 7, but it is not confirmed. And we don't know if it's online or physical because two teachers had booked it, two lecturers had booked it. Yeah, um, and then in, in the evening we have another class. We have like six. We have a five to six class and then a seven to nine class at night so i don't know those are like six classes yeah also i want to create content for tiktok mm -hmm. so yeah if you haven't followed us on tiktok it's at mary palma 001 yeah it has the same logo as the logo for our logo for youtube yeah <sighs> god please bless this thing you are doing fine so um today is on actually on thursday and when i tell you guys i just feel so i wanted to tell you guys about how my day was so basically we had a class on seven at seven a.m and we ended up being late by 16 minutes good thing the teacher is not one of those teachers who like chases you away and then um, we had the morning class until 9, then break for 1 hour 30 minutes. And then we had the second lesson, neurological class. Um, the first lesson was uh, health system management, neurological class for the second class. And the third class was epidemiology class, but we did not um, do it. I don't know why. But to, and, uh, for sure I know we'll have a makeup class. And then in the evening we ended up having a makeup class uh, for what is it called teaching methodology and where so apparently tomorrow we are supposed to present and I'm not ready so normally I get anxious when I'm presenting a lot of people but from in a lot of whatever I've just said but since this I've seen that evidence rate has grown a little not a little bit much more yeah uh yeah so i wanted to practice that with you guys and also um also wanted to tell you a story about the shunamite woman but i shall tell you that tomorrow yeah um also so i was going to take out the book that i'm gonna present with um, to read some notes and then I found my uh, transcript so this is the 22 transcript and let me tell you guys <laughs> um, I passed I passed I did not have a supplementary and that is all God that is all God so let me tell you a story when we are in 1.2 1.2 1.2 Oh yeah, 1.2. I got a soup. And Evans didn't get a soup. And this is what Evans used to do. He used to tell me every time, Mr. Pata Soup, Mr. Pata Soup, Mungu Atansi, Jens Pata Soup. And me, I'm like, so he was speaking, he was declaring it. And me, I was like, okay, so 2.1, I started saying it with him. Sia tuta pata soup, si sia tuta pata soup. And we did not get the soup. And now in 2.2, um, the units were hard and we were doing an online exam for MCKs, uh, MCQs and um, written 
exam for short answer and long answer so the mcqs were like so challenging because it's online and like he keeps he he was telling himself mr patasu and the the mcqs mcqs were hard um so you have respond what you you're responding according to what you have listened you get me because you are confident of yourself yeah so thank you um is anyone with a question oh yes you there tell us okay he talks he talks so i've said this and this and this and this okay thank you so much so my next colleagues Hi guys um so today is on friday the last day and i just wanna thank god that this week hasn't been so hectic like last week because you all <laughs> yo last week was so hectic uh -huh. so it's six um by seven i'm supposed to be in class we're having our first class a makeup it is actually a makeup no it's not a makeup class it's a real class uh hsm and the whole day i think we have teaching methodology so that we may present <sighs> and i'm just <laughs> god please help me <laughs> when i'm presenting because me get anxious so anxious when i'm presenting and I end up even speaking a lot, so I think Week guys, ending the week Hi guys, so I wanted to end this vlog but before I end it, I must tell you about God, right? So, something today happened to me. Yeah, my lips are lips in. So, I was praying. Like, so today was our fasting day, me and Ivan's boobs. <laughs> I call him that. He means a week. Okay, so um, we were fasting. And then, like, I write my morning supplication. In, like I read it in the keep, Google Keep Notes and my evening application. So after I was finishing to write, I was I was done writing the morning application. Guess what happened? What I had prayed for literally happened. Ninko ni meka ni ni um stop it. I left in kona message me fanyika. I was like thank you God. I went back and said thank you. Yeah. So um this is a reminder for you to pray. So I wanted to talk about you guys, about you. I wanted to talk about to you about the Shunamai Tuman. My Bible is over here. So the Shunamai Tuman is found at Kings chapter two. Ah, Second Kings, Yani chapter uh, four. And then um, I'm not gonna read it all, but I'm gonna read the parts that I have highlighted. I'll also put it here so that you guys may read. So it's Second Kings chapter four. Um, so one day Elisha went to Shunem, and a well-to-do woman was there who urged him to stay for a meal. So whenever he came by, he by he be stopped there and he ate. So she said, um, verse nine. It says she said to her husband, "I know that this man of God." Who often comes our way is a holy man. Let us make a small room on a roof. Sit in put in it a bed, a table, a chair, a lamp for him. Then he can stay there whenever he comes. So yeah. So 
you can see in that verse that short verse that's not all the verse that i was there is more in that short verse that the shunammite woman served god like yeah he just she just served god and then let me just continue um in chapter 11 one day when elisha came he went up to his room and laid down there he said to his servant gazi called the shunammite woman elisha said to him tell her so so he were, he called her and she stood before him elisha said to her to him tell her you have gone to all this this trouble for us now what can be done for you can can we speak on your behalf have to the king or the commander or the of the army she replied i have a home among my own people so i won't read it all um because it's long so um the shunamite woman was saying she has a home among his own and then uh and then she was dismissed by elijah and then uh gehazi and elijah were like Satumpenini. and then gehazi said uh we can see that the woman has no child so she was given a child so this is just to show you guys that just because just the shunamite woman served god by giving Elisha a home so uh can god gave the shunamite woman a child and later in later in that verse um later in that verse uh the child ends up dying and then elijah is called and then the shunamite woman cries to elijah ati umekuja umekuja hapa kuniletea um kifo um, ulinipea mtoto na siku kuomba mtoto alafu mtoto amekufa so what should i do and like to me to me to me uh it seems like there the the Shunammite woman wanted like God wanted to show the Shunammite woman that Elijah was truly godly, and like Elijah just slept with the child. It sounds bad, but yeah, in take Bible verse up for reference, and then the child wakes up. So I'm um, later in Kings when there is a uh, when there is what drought. The Shunammite woman is warned by Elijah, and she is told to leave her home and go to somewhere. Now it's in Second Kings chapter eight. Now Elijah had said to the woman whose son had restored to life, "Go away with your family and stay for a while uh, here, uh, wherever you can, you can, because the Lord has um, deemed a famine in the land that." will last seven years yeah so she went and then she came back and when gehazi was telling the king the story the woman just came came like this shows you god like has like i'm a panga kila kitu venye nafakwa and just because of the shunamite woman served god she like was saved from famine her child was alirudishwa high alipewa child imagine and you know yeah so uh, this is to show you that you sh you should always serve um god you should serve him either by <laughs> giving like kujengia mtu pasi nyumba ama you just serve just find your own way to serve god also you can also find a tradition to serve god like uh let me give you an example like giving uh your old clothes or clothes you don't wear to orphanages or to kupeleka extra food that you have harvested to church yeah so i um, hope you have enjoyed this vlog um see you on the next one bye